Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, probably because of the wind noise going past. Let me... No? Your sound's totally quiet. How about this? I got my shield closed now. Does that make it quieter? Okay, that's just the difference. I'm still going to open it every once in a while just to get some, a uh, yeah. little bit of breeze. Did, uh, did I hear you running down to get gas? No, nobody needs gas unless you do. Nope. Okay. I got a hundred. Okay. I can go about 120, which is more than what we're going to put on this trip, so. I think everybody's set for gas. So any screw-ups are going to be probably posted first out of uh, Navy Thomas' list of videos, I'm sure. And there'll be a few. still sounds fine. Oh, that sure feels nice to get that breeze. Well, I'm hoping I've got this bloggy aimed right. This is just like a, a test aiming. We're headed up to Lake Geneva. We're going to start on the east side where downtown Lake Geneva is. The Geneva Lake is actually called that Geneva Lake. The lake is not called Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva is the town. And then if we can find parking, we may walk around just a little bit in downtown Lake Geneva. If we can't, we'll just cruise on a little bit farther west on the lake until we get to the Yerkes Observatory that houses the world's largest refractor telescope which actually when it was built and for about 10 years afterwards or so it was the largest telescope of any kind in the world and since this is a Sunday we won't actually get a tour inside that's on Saturdays where you get the tour inside and I think on occasion they even let people look through the telescope. <laughs> 